Hello everyone. Today in this section we are going to talk about one of the very important feature of the C language is called storage classes. But what is the importance of the storage classes? Storage class actually basically is needed while we are writing our code that we have to tell the compiler that where and how it should behave with the variables we are declaring for our program. So there are four kind of storage classes in C language. One is automatic. So whenever you declare any variable like integer int a equal to zero, the, by default the storage class is auto. This can be declared within any function or any procedure. And the main feature of this variable is going to be that it will be visible within that function only. Now when you declare an automatic storage class variable that this space of this variable will be allocated on the system stack when the procedure will be called and it will be deallocated or to be that stack space will be free for reused when the procedure is exited. Only one or two variables the compiler may allocate them to registers within that procedure instead of allocating memory. It is also very important in the system of embedded system. But the value which you are getting in a variable will not be retained between two procedures calls. So for example, if you had declared one variable integer a inside a function a, this variable, the value of this, this variable will not be retained in the another function is called function b. So if you declare another function function b and declare that another variable, it will not have the same value of the function a, it will have that different value. So the variable must be initialized each time the procedure is entered since the value is not written when the procedure is exited. Now so this is about the automatic storage class. Now we are talking about the static variables. When you declare a variable static the value of this variable will be retained throughout the program in RAM and they are not reallocated during the program execution. So you can declare one static variable within or outside of a function. If you declare one static variable outside of a function, the scope of the variable will be global. So this variable, if you are declared that variable outside of the functions, it can be used in the all other functions available in that file. The declaration of the variable is similar like static int count like that. Or if you declared one static variable inside a function, so you have to add the keyword static before the variable definition the variable will be local in the scope and will be known only within this function. You can declare a variable as a static. Also, you can declare any st structure, any other array as a static also. So, in this next, there is another st storage class is called register. Register is very, very very specific for using because the register is a feature where the variable will be stored in, in the microprocessor or microcontroller register. But it is not actually exactly true because the number of the microprocessor or microcontroller registers are limited. So the compiler will be treated as normal auto, auto variable 
in that case. So another storage class is extend. In that extend, if you are declaring one variable as extend, so you can use that variable as a global variable. So the variable will be used as a global and it can be used from another file also. So if you declare one variable in one file one and you can use that variable in other file also and the value of this variable will be retained from the file one to the file two. So these are the basic four type of storage classes in C and this is the same for the embedded C also. In the next tutorial we are going to talk about the different data types which are associated with the storage classes in C language. Thank you.